I'm ready. Are you ready? It's time for Pothica Infused. Let's go. Hello and welcome to Pothica Infused. It is yours truly, Marissa Kay, and welcome to the Infusion Experience, because I'm on a mission to unite the world one recipe at a time through the art of cannabis infusion. Now, I know you're probably thinking, my kitchen's a little bit empty today. Usually this table would be filled to the brim with all types of ingredients. But today we're gonna to focus on the main ingredient and that's cannabis. We're gonna be doing a little history one-on-one -on -one because we need to figure out and I need to spread the word on how this shit show all started. And I'm quite sure there are questions and concerns. But before we dive in, make sure you like, subscribe, Hit the notification so that you can stay up to speed on everything that I got going on in this infusion kitchen. So we'll be back in one moment. Come and listen to me do the commercial. Gray skies are gonna clear up. Put on a happy face. Brush off the clouds and cheer up. Put on a happy face. Take off the gloomy mask of tragedy. It's not your style. You look so good that you'll be glad you decided to smile. Pick out the pleasant outlook. Stick out that noble chin. There's questions. There's concerns. How did all of this happen? I'm just going to tell you a quick story. It's about a guy named Harry Asslinger. Wait a minute. It's not his name. His name is Arslinger. No. Anslinger. Harry Anslinger, not the Arslinger and not the Asslinger. However, those names are more befitting, but Harry Arslinger. He was the individual who headed Prohibition. See, because coming out of the 1800s and into the 1900s, we loved to drink beer and wine. And while that was okay, there was this new thing that came around called alcohol and uh, drinking big mugs and big bags of alcohol just did not do right for America. And we were known all around the world for being woman beaters, kid beaters, job losers, and drunks. That was our reputation. And we had to do something about it. So they said, hey, I have a bright idea. Hmm, let's outlaw alcohol and we created this wonderful thing called prohibition however prohibition came and bit us in the ass why well not us them because all of us were making money hand over fist i mean the bootleggers were in business and the mafia and the underdogs of the world were all living well with their speakeasies and their underground facilities in which they serve alcohol to the wee hours of the morning in spite of prohibition so that shit didn't work but they said hey well what are we going to do now because we can't outlaw something and then we're not making money off of it and all the people that we were against it are now making money off of it what do we do oh my goodness we've hired a whole department of people we've put people into jobs all for prohibition what do we do now well ash slinger comes up with a great idea sorry and Slinger comes up with a great idea and he says, hey, you know that Mexican war, they're bringing all that Mexican weed over here that's making people all loopy. We'll tell them that it makes their daughters loose and we'll tell them that it makes their sons robbers and killers and thieves and that it does more than just give you munchies and put you in a silly mood. We'll outlaw it. We'll put people in jail. But they not just put people in jail. They locked up doctors. They locked up your average working person. See, because prior to this, cannabis was used as a real medicine for asthma and bronchitis and inflammation. So there were doctors and professionals in the world that were really prescribing this as a medicine to their patients. And it really was working. But now here comes the future and they outlaw it. Fast forward to 2023, where science has overtaken 
a bad decision that took place years ago. And that's because we eliminated a very important plant that not only had medicinal uses, but a very important plant that had sustainability purposes. I mean, this plant is a miracle plant. When it comes down to sucking CO2 out of the atmosphere, you can count on it. It takes a fraction of the water that it takes to grow trees and a fraction of the hemp required to create paper, textiles. I mean, all around the board, even outside of medicinal and recreational, this plant has a purpose. So when I tell you people, this is here as a saving grace, not for something for anyone to turn their nose up at. And trust me, there's all versions of this plant that you can ingest that have a medicinal purpose. From the THC when it comes down to pain, from the CBD when it comes down to inflammation, to the CBGs, to the miraculous um, antioxidants inside of the hemp seed. There are a multitude of ways to utilize this plant. But today, we're going to be utilizing it in a smash burger. Okay? And I'm going to be showing you how we do the ganja burger. I'm going to be taking you through my steps on how to infuse it. And then we're going to be going over to the white tent, throw it on the grill, and smash this baby and get a nice crust going and show you how it is properly done. So welcome again to another episode of Pothica Infused and Let's Cook. Oh yeah, let's get into this burger here. It is juicy, crispy edges. Man, I'm gonna take you through this smash burger today. But right now, I'm gonna show you how to infuse it with the good old ganja. I'm using 14 grams of weed here with one stick of butter. Keep in mind your milligram math, people. It is all contingent upon how much percentage of THC is actually in the bud that you're using. You're gonna give it a fine grind with that one stick of butter and at 240 degrees, we're gonna bake it for one hour, decarbing all at the same time that we're infusing. Now, three pounds of beef, okay? Three ounce burgers weighed out is gonna be about 148 milligrams per burger with a 17% THC on 14 grams of weed. Now, I will be dropping a video on how to do your milligram math, but keep in mind that is a way heavy burger. My burgers are around 50 milligrams, so you can adjust it according to what you need. Is mighty sunny in Philadelphia today. It's warm out here, toasty. I'm telling you, once the fall and the snow comes around, I'm kind of looking forward to it because I think that this is going to be a really comfortable habitat going into the colder months up here in Philadelphia. However, we just came out of that video of watching the infusion process of the smash burgers and now we're outside grill is nice and warm ingredients are all out this time no empty tables anymore and we're gonna go and get a good maillard effect going on these burgers that's a nice crust i'm gonna show you how to get it done also i'm gonna do a few different burgers i'm gonna do a virgin I'm gonna do one that I put egg in and one that I put egg not in, in the infused burgers. I'm just curious to see if there's a difference, if there's a fat content differential, uh, and see just the difference, which one I like better as I move forward. Now, let's go, let's fire this thing up and make some smash burgers. Come on. <laughs> All right, first up, we've got our virgin burger. So guys, it's very important when you're doing a smash burger that you wanna hold down your press for 10 seconds, 10 seconds. That way you can begin to get that good and hard effect, which is the crust that you need at the bottom. No smash burger is complete without the crust at the bottom. The parchment paper is to keep the meat from sticking to your press. So, 
see what we got here? Watch when we flip this burger. Watch, 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 watch. See, look. Ooh, yeah, man. Look at that crust. Look at that crust. And look, when you press the burger initially in the beginning, it keeps the juiciness inside the burger. It seals it in and makes your burger extra juicy. Come on, let's go. Round two, ganja burger with egg, right? Same thing as before, press it out for 10 seconds. Make sure you use your parchment paper, but I want you to see something here, egg people. Us mothers who grew up believing that you needed to put egg inside your burger. No egg in the burger. See that edge? You see how it's breaking up? You see the shrinkage that's going on? That's what happens. It doesn't make the burger juicier. It just makes it more wet because there's egg. We don't want a wet burger. We want a juicy burger. So I don't know. Plus, you see, no good crust here. I think we're going to flag the egg. Not least, round three, the ganja burger with no egg. Now, very important thing here with this ganja burger. You saw how we added butter to the infusion process. This ups the fat content on the ganja burger. See how beautiful this burger lays out once pressed. Look at that. Look at the shape. Look at it. And watch when I flip. Watch, 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 watch. Wait for it, wait for it. Oh man, look at that crust. Because it has that extra butter in it, it has made a beautiful crust. When I tell you the juice of this burger, because we magically up the content on it by adding butter, oh man, I know I'm making some smash burger vets very happy. It is hella hot outside today as you can see we had to put the hair up after that grill outside but we have ourselves some wonderfully delicious burgers that we're going to be eating right now the virgin burger always delicious that is one Mm, I like my burgers medium. Mm. But on the egg versus the no egg smash burger, it is definitely no egg. On the egg smash burger, it comes out smaller. As you can see, it doesn't go as wide around, which stops that nice lacy edge effect that you want on your smash burger. So I will say that when there is no egg, you get way more coverage and the edges are a lot crispier. Mm, crispy edges. So let's see how they eat though. This is the, let's see, can you see that? That is the egg that has egg in it for those people who put egg in their burgers. Mm-hmm. I don't know. 
if you guys that has a lot of it's got a lot of juice in it it's on my arm mm -hmm. however the way it sits mm, with no egg I think let's see Mm. No egg. It has a nice crust. Mm. Mm. And it's so juicy. And the way you use that butter to infuse the burger, it gives it like an extra layer of fat and makes this extra juicy. I mean, I do. I've got greasy fingers. This thing, mm-hmm. That's one juicy ass smash burger. Thank you for joining me <laughs> on another show of Pothica Infused. And I'll be back next week with another infusion recipe. Join me again. Gray skies are gonna clear up. Put on a happy face. Brush off the clouds and cheer up. Put on a happy face. Take off the gloomy mask of tragedy. It's not your style. You look so good that you'll be glad you decided to smile. Pick out the pleasant outlook. Stick out that noble chin. Wipe off that full of doubt look. Slap on a happy grin. <laughs>